Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's go. I'm Josh from Mr. Calvert's third period engineering class and I was part of the robot team for the engineering Bay Area challenge and our challenge was to put ping pong balls onto the robot. The robot had to move forward and drop them into specific cups. So they tell us they only want it in three cups or something like that. So our robot, it has four uh, sets of wheels. It moves forward and there's a switch down here. When the switch hits this cup up here, then we have rack and pinions here, which are uh, flat gears that can move back and forth. So the rack moves back and the ball can then drop into the cup we want it to drop into. And it comes back and resets itself. So for this configuration, we told it to put it into five cups and that's what you just saw. So I'm Kimberly and this is for our program in the robot. We use the software called RoboPro supplied with these interfaces that we provided. Um, it's an iPhone based program. So we have little icons that control the motors turning on, turning off. We have decision branches and you can actually see our loops in motion. It's our loop. And we have our branches. It runs, so for our program we have multiple start branches. The motors turn on the drive motors. And then until the switch is pressed, they keep running. When the switch is pressed, they stop, they wait, and we go to our sub program which controls the movement of the rack and pinions. They move back a certain, for a certain amount of time and then they all stop because that opens up so the balls fall out. And then, oops. Then the robot moves backwards and the rack and pinions re reset themselves so we don't have to configure them for the next match. I'm Brandon Lowe and I'm a freshman at Dublin High School. And me, Josh, and Kimberly were all nervous, like, the day of the competition because we were stressing over, it's too slow, it's not going to work, and blah, 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 because we had problems with our switches in the beginning. And that, like, our switch, the program wouldn't read the switch. So we were stressing over that factor. But once we got there, we got to look around, and the other teams, they had different designs. One was similar to ours, but they couldn't get their program to run, like, simultaneously. So the balls won't drop all at once, unlike our machine, which does, which gave us an extra time so we could win. And the other team had a claw-like design. It's like a claw machine that with the teddy bears in the games. It goes like this, then it moves this way or that way, and it chooses which cups to drop the ball in. And we beat like the second place team by more than two minutes, I think. And we had like our slowest time was eight seconds, which is pretty good. And yeah.